In today's episode, we're talking about a few new features that are coming in Blender 2.91. I'm Luciano and welcome to the Adventures of Lollipop Man. This episode is sponsored by me. Use the code below to get 10% discount on any of my products. So, as you may know, in the latest few weeks, there has been a lot of little improvements in Blender's uh, animation workflow. They've been improving a lot of quality of life things and some more under the hood stuff to make our life much, much easier and uh, with less problems. I only focus on three features. There's a bunch more that are also important, but we're going to look at them uh, a little bit more in depth in time. So let's see what they are. <laughs> Feature number one, non-destructive keyframing. If we go to a version of Blender kind of in the realm of 2.83 and below, you're gonna figure out that when I have, for instance, this situation where I have two keyframes and then I set a new keyframe with I in between, you see that there's a slight change in the curve. Like, looks slight, but it means that you're gonna have to come back to these keyframes and adjust it to more or less fit what it was. And so, Creating keyframes means that a lot of the time you need to repolish that curve, mostly when you're creating a bunch of properties at the same time. In the case of 2.91, if you press keyframe, you can see that the keyframe stays there. The curve stays exactly the same, and now you can work from there. Uh, which means that, for instance, when you create a keyframe on all your transforms, even if you don't go and touch up every single one of them, you don't need to repolish them and also it gives you at least the same exact interpolation that you had already as a starting point to keep on working on it and so that's very nifty it saves a lot of time and it's in 2.91 now in the pie menu for snapping we have two new options cursor to selection and cursor to value which means that for instance you know we have this cursor like we have the vertical which is time and the horizontal which is value Having these extra two options will allow you to do stuff like this. For instance, I can select this keyframe, right? And say cursor to value and then select everything else and scale it towards the 2D cursor in the Y axis. And so now it's very easy to scale towards that, the curve towards that point, right? Or not necessarily in this case, that point, but that line. So that also allows me if I want to control M to mirror, I can mirror values over cursor value. And so now it mirrors across that point. Similarly with cursor to selection, the only difference is the cursor to selection will move you in time. And so we decided to have the value separated from that if you didn't want to move from where you're standing in time, which might be the case. And again, it allows for the same kinds of things, but now you can also say, for instance, with mirroring, you can mirror over value zero or over current frame, which would be the vertical line. So if I control M and do that, then that's my pivot for the mirroring. Uh, same thing again with scaling and like mirroring by scale or scaling stuff from that point, etc. So this will allow to perform such actions a little bit faster and, and in a precise way. Um, not that before you couldn't, it's, it was just slower and it felt like those were uh, those options were missing here. Uh, again, you can also do stuff like, for instance, now that we have this line here, I can select these ones and go to cursor value, snap to cursor values, and they will all go to that line, which is actually rather useful. This one is also going to be available in 2.9 number three and my favorite on this list is keyframe multi-edit values in previous versions of blender if you select those keyframes the only way to move them up and down or side to side was actually with uh, the cursor uh, now if you come from a, a, another software from a major company you might be used to using these values to be able to input them and say bring them all to zero or do this or do that, which in Blender doesn't happen at all. And you can't even use a copy single to select it or all to select it, which, which one, what one would have expected. Now in 2.91, you can actually do these things like I can select, for instance, these keyframes right here, right? And if I go to the 
I need to have one active active keyframe, by the way. So if you select them, then select the last one by clicking it, that will make it easier. And now if I move one, it just moves one. But if I press Alt, they'll all move, right? There's still a little bug where they should come with their respective Bezier curves. I think that works if we're in automatic, maybe. In automatic, it works. In auto clamped, it works. In aligned, it's where it doesn't work anymore, nor free again. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a bug, but it should be fixed uh, pretty soon. Other than that, now you can perform these kind of options or also say, as I said, you can move them while pressing Alt or you can use copy to selected and it will copy that value. Just copy single to selected will copy the value, the specific value. Copy all to selected will copy both of them. But in any case, that works now. So yeah, that's also a feature that's going to be in 2.91. I hope you enjoy these new features. There's uh, quite a few more that you can check out in the release notes of Blender 2.91. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. Remember to like if you like, subscribe, and see me next time. Mm -hmm.